Oh. <laughs> you got the cakes here too. Oh my goodness. Grandma, I love you. I'm gonna call me Nena. Nena. <laughs> love. <laughs> oh, and then she has her uncle and aunt in the background. And look, Atara, you have Opa. You have Opa here. You have Grandma Denise right there. You have Casey, Kimberly. You got Big Snoop. So, what are you going to call him, Atara? That's right. It's going to be a lot older. <laughs> Uncle Chris, the cool Uncle Chris. Tara, Grandma loves you, and Gram we haven't had you yet, and we're dying to have you in our arms and love you too. Yes, Precious. and Grandpa Kim is very, you. very happy. Yes. I love you. <laughs> Guess how many months Gabby is right now? Just if you were to see her from this, baby, don't turn, don't turn. Guys, if you saw this, you would think that she's not even pregnant. But she's eight months. So Tara, we're gonna see you soon. Atara, look, your aunt. Aunt Chinese. Aunt Chinese. Chinese. Oh, you did it. Okay. Mom didn't want to do it, so I gave Five it. pounds? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Today's the day, guys. We are so happy. It was a lot of work. Michael been sweating. You can turn it to you, Michael. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're so excited, guys. Look, we have family and friends here. So, Michael, you can share it, move the camera around. <laughs> Guys, I don't think anybody is going to be able to. Well, actually, someone has to win, so we'll see. Come on up. If you guys want to guess, you can just start making the line up here. <laughs> Chris. Decide. You can't wrap around, you can guess. Guys, so we're at Briar Patch, and Michael asked me, Did you lose your ring, babe? Guys, I keep seeing her with just this black one, and even in our photo shoot, she wore this black one. He was so I'm like, Where is the ring I got? <laughs> Guys, he was like, Did you lose the ring, babe? <laughs> I'm like, I would never hide that. Yeah, it's just like, I, it just, it's just a pain to have to uh, take it off and on, and she fears losing it. And then I said, Okay, that's fine. You don't have to wear it. <laughs> so guys, I forgot to mention the testimony that happened during the baby shower for Atara. Um, that day happened to be storming really bad. And I remember that day, um, a lot of people were even asking us if we were going to continue to have the baby shower. And I was like, yes, in Jesus' name, the rain will stop in the area that we're going to be at. And I remember Michael and I, we were driving on our way. And even Michael was like, look at the storm. But I was telling Michael... No, we're not going to look at the storm. We're going to say, I thank you, Jesus, that the storm will be gone. And Michael's actually right here. Wow, she <laughs> With was... our baby girl. I know, guys, this is so late. We should have shared this. We should have filmed this long ago. But, um, yeah, remember, Michael, that day you are like, look at the storm. I was like. Speak live, brother. I was like, I'm just making an observation, woman. This storm is crazy. But, no, like, I really had the faith, and Michael knew. And literally, guys, the moment we got there, the rain stopped. Michael, you're a witness. Rain completely stopped. The rain the stopped. Skies opened up. And the skies opened up. And guys, it's crazy. This was a time during Lord, there was a tropical storm coming a about. Dove came down. <laughs> <laughs> but it was crazy. And I literally prayed to God, like, God, I thank you, Lord, that the rain will stop. And it won't be until we step out that it will start raining again. And literally, by the time the baby shower stopped or ended, we stepped out of the pavilion and the rain started happening. Immediately. So it was like, Lord, thank you so much. And it just really shows you the power of speaking life in your circumstances. You know, and so, you know, we want to encourage you to not, I mean, this was obviously our testimony for the baby shower, but even in your own life, like speak life. Like we've seen many instances where, you know, Michael had back pain or, or I've had a sickness um, and I would just speak life. And literally that would change my circumstance. And scripture even says, you know, death, life and death come from the tongue. So... Michael, did you want to add anything? Uh, I just want to add that Atara, guys, look at Atara right quick. <laughs> Isn't she so cute? Yeah, she's born now, guys. Look at her, y'all. She's, she's just, oh man, she gave me y'all a stinky face right now. <laughs> she's like, who that? She's like, why am I featured on here? What y'all doing? Guys, 
I fell for it this time. Last time I got Gabby a gift, and now she surprised me. That she's like Michael thought it was his plant waterer. Yeah, like my plant waterer. Since anyway, I don't know what this is, so I'm gonna open this up, and we're gonna find out. It's a nice box, so. <laughs> Let's find out what is this. Is this a coffee mug? Yeah. Oh my god, this is fancy. Oh, babe. Because I know we're going to get you a coffee machine. Guys, look at this gift. Babe, you're established babe. 2021 as a dad. As a dad. <laughs> Because I know you're going to need that coffee when Atara is born. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> Guys, this is my first attempt at making a Korean, supposed to be bulgogi bowl. But I don't know if we got the right meat. But we're going to see what Michael thinks. Guys, this is the real Master Chef judge. Definitely needs a little bit more sauce. Okay. So let's find out. It's definitely more like a brisket, you're right. Yeah. You have to try with the garlic, though. With the fattier one. Not bulgogi, but it's still delicious. Okay. Mm. I think it's the type of meat, and maybe I could get a different type of sauce. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah.